Okay, we're on. We're on. Hey guys, welcome back to the Romel HD channel and welcome back to another episode of this FIFA 23 career mode uh, with Everton. And this is uh, episode 8 and this is the finale. Um, yeah, I'm quite nervous, uh, hence why I started the stream early. Um, I feel like we're going to brick it. I hope we don't brick it. But yeah, let's talk about where we're, where we're at. Sorry. Getting a bit of feedback in my ear. So, um, yeah, this is where, where we're at. Uh, 13th of May, uh, we drew 1-1 and 2-2 Liverpool in the last episode. Sorry, the bottle that keeps making a crickly sound. <laughs> and, um, yeah, we're not in the best position in terms of the league. If we want to co uh, qualify for a European competition, uh, we do have tough games ahead of us. We have uh, the last two games of the season against Leicester City and Bournemouth. And uh, we are, I think we are a couple points behind West Ham United and Chelsea. We do need to rely on other teams to, to, to cause an upset and get those two teams to drop points in order for us to stand a chance for European football. And we're not even guaranteed a top half finish. If we lose to Leicester, drop points at Bournemouth, we can pretty much end up in the bottom half of the, the table by the, um, by the end of this stream. So yeah, it's really sticky. Chelsea... 57 points, West Ham 57 points. I'm two points behind both of them. West Ham have Newcastle next. Um, wait, did I get that wrong? I got it wrong. Sorry, they have Crystal Palace next. Chelsea um, have Man United, which is a, a positive. Hopefully, they drop points there. And then uh, they're gonna uh, West Ham are going to end the season off with Newcastle. And uh, Chelsea have Arsenal. Okay. Okay, so it's a tough, tough run of games for Chelsea. West Ham's uh, quite decent and we got our own problems, our own troubles to worry about. But before we even, before we even get to those games, get to the finale of the season, we have the big Merseyside derby in the FA Cup final. The last time Everton won the FA Cup was in 1995 against Manchester United where they won 1-0. And uh, that was literally the last trophy that they, actually no, the Community Shield. They won the Community Shield um, the, the season after that but they haven't won a trophy in almost 20 years so this is a huge weight on our shoulders and um yeah i feel like we i'm gonna be honest with you we are bottle jobs so I, it's, it's gonna be a test of mentality i'm gonna find out who is is worthy of staying next season uh and sticking around for the rebuild and who's just not good enough but yeah shout out to lucas how, how you doing lucas how many goals has a <laughs> uh cover <Calvert> Lewinsky. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh let's check, let's check that. Let's check the squad hub. But this is good because it gives us a feel good factor. So just to give you guys a rough idea of the stats, there is a vault, there's a poll of who like who you guys think is the best player of the season. Surprisingly, Calvin Lewin's done like Ronaldo Lewandowski numbers this season. I don't please don't ask me how he scored this many goals, because we've struggled. We've struggled a lot. We've conceded a lot of goals. We've got the worst defensive record in the league, but somehow this man is finding a way to bag 30-plus goals in all comps. And uh, Yeah, he's got 45 goals with uh, 14 assists, so that's 59 goal contributions across 44 appearances. This guy, if he doesn't get a move to Barcelona, Real Madrid, or City, like I don't understand this game. Someone should come in for him. Deli Ali putting up Frank Lampard numbers. If not, maybe better. He's got 28 goal contributions and 34 appearances. So yeah, Deli Ali's in great form. 23 goal contributions for Anthony Gordon in 44 um, appearances. Uh, Moise Kenny came back from his loan and he's contributed quite well. Eight goals in, the, um, in all competitions and seven assists. So Moise Ken, I'm definitely going to enjoy using him next season if nobody comes in to poach him. But these are the, st the stats. Um, I'm mainly ba basing like it off um, in-game performances. So even though Calvert-Lewin's got the most um, goal contributions, in my opinion, we can't we didn't can't get to where we're at without Jordan Pickford in goal and Michael Keane at the back. Michael Keane really solid. Like Michael Keane next to anybody, we we can do well. I prefer him next to Godfrey because Godfrey's aggressive. Uh, but Michael Keane next to anybody, I feel like is do you know the the effect that Johnny Evans used to have at Leicester City? That's what I feel like with Michael Keane. Um, yeah, he's a really solid centre-back, hence why I picked him. 
as club captain. But enough waffling, enough waffling. Uh, hello, um, Armin K. What's up? How you doing? Um, yeah, the Manchester Derby, we must not speak of that. We won't speak of, about that until we win our next game. Then I can address that because that was just shambolic. I stopped watching by the fourth goal. I didn't even bother sticking around for us to score those three goals. Uh, well, if you sell them, you can buy someone better. Yeah, Armin K. The, Calvert-Lewin is not, is not like indispensable. We can sell him. We're going to get started with the questions now. Okay, let's go into press into the press conference and uh, just gas my players up. Any special plans? We're always ready. That's all I gotta say. I didn't read the question. I'm just gonna say we're always ready. Um, how's the audio sounding, guys? How's the picture quality looking? Let me know. Is there a buffer? Let me know. Okay, sorry. I was just checking the, the quality. So, um, are the boys ready for the game? We're in excellent shape. Uh, despite us um, coming into this, going into this game off the back of two draws, we did look quite good in those matches. Um, I feel like we could have easily beaten Tottenham and Liverpool if it weren't for our shocking defending. Um, on the ball, we've definitely improved. Off the ball, I mean, we're, we're playing some really good football, especially for the players that we currently have as well and all the stuff we've been through throughout the season. Have a look. We can check his worth after the game. Um, why am I there? I'm going to change the kit. And play in their red kit. But I don't like the stadium shadow when it's clear, so I'm going to change it to overcast. That it matters. Can't do overcast. Summer. Oh, there we go. That's how you do it. Yeah, the stadium lighting is uh, quite poor in, in, in the Wembley Stadium. Um. So, yeah. We are going to select our starting 11. Okay, so uh, Godfrey's still in the reserves. He got sent off um, recently. That's why he's in the reserves. Um, so Ken, I don't think I'd need to make many changes, you know. I'm quite happy the match day squad. It was just Godfrey. He needed to make it. Oh, yeah, Davis. I'm going to go with uh, Davis for this game. Onana can come off the bench. And um, I'm going to go with Amiri over Decore. I think this team, this team is good enough to shock Liverpool and Jurgen Klopp. I, f I reckon we will be able to put, um, put in a shift, put in a performance these players with this, with this group players so yeah without further ado let's get into the cup final hopefully we get a victory again in the comment section let me know below what's the what's the um frame rate saying what's the what's the picture quality saying what's the sound saying i want this to be extreme I want the the quality to be perfect Especially for this occasion. It's the fans. Oh, the Merseyside derby. And the FA Cup final. So I'm just looking at the frame the frame rate saying that it's dropped by 14%. Okay, let's not pay too much attention to that. Got a big game in hand at hand. Liverpool versus Everton. I 
like I said, the last time Everton has won a trophy, have won a trophy, was almost 20 years ago in this very cup competition, the OG competition. Beat Man United 1 0, and now they have another Northern side in their way of glory. So far, 50% is saying uh, Calvert Lewin's the club's player of the season. Guys are going by numbers. Which I respect. Okay, so yeah, this is how we're starting. Um, we have Pickford in goal. Uh, Aaron's Keen, Godfrey and Mitchell at the back. Uh, we have Davis, uh, and Mary and Gallagher in the midfield. We also have... Um, who do we have on the right-hand side? <laughs> we have Gray, Calvert-Lewin down the middle. And on the left, we have Gordon. Liverpool have Alisson in goal. Um, Trent, Gomez, Van Dijk and Robertson. Fabinho, Thiago, Oxley chamberlain on the field. They also have Darwin Nunez, uh, Osala. And I'm assuming on the left-hand side, they've got Diaz. So, yeah, the game's on the way. Sorry, I lost concentration. I literally should have been paying attention for the lineups. But the game's kicked off. Hopefully, we can uh, cause an upset. We are playing on ultimate difficulty. With, sl with sliders, by the way. It is still difficult. As you uh, could see from the last episodes, we just don't know how to keep a clean sheet. Um, we do know how to move this ball around and score goals. So, if we can tactically outsmart Liverpool, then I'm going to go for a tactical approach. I know I'm here to entertain, but um, yeah, I would love to have silverware at the end of this terrible season. We're attacking to the right, Liverpool are attacking to the left. So yeah, if I don't um, respond to the live chat, so I'm not ignoring you guys, I just want to focus for this final and then uh, we can get down to the interactive part the live stream the Darwin Nunez it's Diaz maybe I should have made the, the half a bit longer for the entertainment purposes of this match or Don Aaron's the Damari Gray Liverpool are leaving a lot of space in behind can't exploit it though Max Irons fails to get the ball into Gray. The atmosphere is not as loud as I was anticipating, if I'm honest with you. I was expecting Liverpool fans to be the louder group of fans in the stadium. My other fans making much noise. I think they're just as anxious as, as I am. Soon you might be able to hear a penny drop in the stadium. We've conceded a corner. Let's charge this Mac. The last thing we need is the Mac dying while we're on street. So let's charge this Mac. So yeah, we are. We we don't need that. <laughs> we definitely don't need that. 15 minutes gone. Liverpool have a, a corner. It's nil nil. Brown side. They take it short. Mo Salah. He's don't come with the trickery. It's not that kind of game. Shot from uh, Darwin Nunez, easily dealt with by Jordan Pickford. And just roll this ball out. Max Irons plays it down the line. Ray. Albert Lewin, first touch. Doesn't do him any justice. Our Gray continues to make runs in behind. Max Irons can pick out Gray again this time. He's a lot closer to getting the ball to him. The pass uh, isn't deemed successful. Nice interception by uh, Andrew Robertson. Let's track Mo Salah's run. Reflexes and reactions. Need that from the keeper. We need that from the defenders. Get ready to block shots as well. Oh, no. No, please don't. Thank you. Thank you. Not today. Not right now, at least. <laughs> Pitford uh, alert off his line. Denies Mo Salah. Goal scoring opportunity. I 
Mary. Loses the ball again. Not doing too well in possession. But for us at least. Signed him as like a possession based player. But good ball control. Just hasn't hit the ground running so far. For the Toffees. trying to manage the press from Liverpool when they do press <laughs> they press really hard Cavaloon in behind uh, Allison makes it really difficult for me to to get a shot off Liverpool get the ball cleared or well done uh, Godfrey Uh, what are you two doing? Mitchell and Godfrey, communicate. You both can't go for the same ball. Now look, we've only got two players, two defenders in the box. Oh, Salah scuffs that shot. Uh, okay. Guys, if you're just tuning in, this is the FA Cup final, Merseyside Derby. If you're new to the channel, please, uh, just please hit that sub button. If you're new to the stream, got subbed already, please smash that like button. It goes a long way for me. Uh, algorithm. Ga uh, Gallagher. Avalon just wasn't ready to make a run. Still yet to, to go attacking. That's normally the first thing I do when I kick off. But this isn't one of them games where I, where I can afford to make a mistake and fight back from a losing position. Can't be naive. There's a uh, Luis Diaz. Fabinho. Darwin Nunez. Oh no. What a save there. By Pickford. Advantage given for handball. Oh no. Again. Again, we're just giving Liverpool a lot of um time on the ball to pick us apart. Eventually, they're going to be successful. So we need to do the unthinkable and grab a goal at the other end ourselves. Looked a lot sharper in the league. I'm gonna coming at um against them, facing off against them, but right now. It's a different Liverpool. And there's a trophy to win. I'm assuming they don't muck about. Fabinho, shot blocked. And they're just going to keep hopelessly shooting. Right now, we're solid at the back. Guys, what's your score predictions? Be honest. <laughs> Be honest with me. By the looks of the game so far, what do you think the outcome's going to be? Okay, half time. The interval's here. It's nil nil at Wembley Stadium. All honours even for this Merseyside derby. I would say um, Liverpool have had more of the ball and they've looked more dangerous on the ball. But it's still nil nil. So, uh, yeah, in the second half, we do have a, a chance to, to, to change the dynamic of this game around. But do my players have the ball to do it? That's the question. So these are the stats at half time, 50-50 possession. Our expected goals is zero. We've barely created any chances. And um, yeah, we definitely need to improve that. And uh, I'm going to try and improve the frame rate on top of that. Because <laughs> it is bugging me. So we are going to try to sort this out. Okay. Second half is on the way. Live at Wembley Stadium is nil nil. Liverpool are now attacking to the right. We're attacking to the left. Darwin Nunes, Abinho. Alexander Arnold. Godfrey. Pickford. Is it to the right into Max Aarons? Amaro Gray. Amiri. Dominic Calvert Lewin. A support. That's in the box. Van Dyke is there. It's a late arrival. It's in time for him to intercept that, that pass into Gallagher. Miri. 
Davis loses the ball. Movement off the ball has um, been very static. Some of these players are hesitant to make a, in case they make a mistake. They don't want to put a foot wrong. They don't want that hair dryer. Ooh, over the top. Kavaluin. There we go. We've got the goal. There we go. 1 0. 1 0. Kavaluin has opened the scoring against Liverpool. Fantastic run in behind. It's a simple volley. We've done it. We've actually bagged the opener. Now we need to go and score another goal because we can't defend a 1 0 lead for the lives of us. What a finish by Dominic Calvert Lewin. We, we've, we've literally got a goal against the run of play, if I'm honest with you. Like I said, in the second half, we can definitely turn the dynamic of this game around. And we've just done that. Liverpool definitely have to come out of the blocks now and come running at us, which I'm assuming they're going to attempt to do straight after conceding. They're attempting to do it right now. So whether my players can stop it or not. Just about stopped by Pickford. Fabinho. Chamberlain. Fabinho. Back in talks today, Chamberlain. Thiago. Well done, uh, Max Ahrens. Definitely. Oh, no. Definitely the my signing of the season, Max Ahrens. What am I doing with this ball? <laughs> wow. I can't believe we scored. Jota, he's on for Nunez. I think that's the first change of the final. I'm super gassed. I need to get back in line with the camera. <laughs> super gassed. Okay, goal kick. Pickford boots up the field. Gordon with the head up. Flicked over the top. Calvert-Lewin can run onto it. Calvert-Lewin, I'm going to shoot. Ellison with the save. Robertson. Gomez. Jota. I think this is just going to be a defensive test for us now. Uh, we can't even ask Mitchell to press. Thiago, shot blocked by Keane. A lot of bodies in the way. Ref, speak to Chamberlain. We'll take the free kick. I'm under pressure. Ref, speak to him. He's got a yellow card. Yellow card given to Oxley Chamberlain. It's the first booking of the final. Surprise is taking this long for a crunching challenge to, to go in. And it's gone in on uh, Mitchell. And it's, in, uh, it's also replacing the player that's just been booked. We need to make a change. We need to make a change. We need to match their energy, if I'm honest with you. Amiri, I, I, he's just not had a good first half. Second half is a bit slow as well. I'm going to move Gallagher into that. The hybrid number eight, number ten roll. And we're gonna play the core as a number eight, box to box. Uh, come on, boys. Come on. You can do this, man. You can do this. All the ridicule, all the criticism I've given you guys should have absor absorbed it. And just just taking it in. Taking it on the chin. And just uh use it as a tool. Here's here's the time to use it as a tool. The Corre, I think he's offside. I think Calvert Lewin's offside. He is. Puts it in the back of the net, but the flag goes up. Uh, the movement's improving, though. Definitely improving. The Fabinho into Virgil Van Dijk. Henderson in the center circle plays it to his right. Mo Salah doesn't take on Mitchell. They're the it will link up between Jota, Salah, and Trent. I think he definitely wants to cut in on that left foot. I think Salah's running out of ideas. Oh no, Jota, what a save by Pickford. This is what I mean. You can't count Pickford out as the club's player of the season. He got the most criticism out of all the players I criticised. And look at him now. He's just turning up whenever we need him to. We're making the second change. Oh, Nana is uh, making his way on the pitch. And uh, Tom Davis is off. Just need to manage this game correctly and go defensive. Not for too long, but we have a little spell where we're penned back. So uh, we just need to survive this. 
and start playing football again. Oh, switch me in time, please. Please switch me in time. Oh, my goodness me, they've equalised. Jordan Henderson himself. They just wouldn't switch me to the right guy at the right time. But that's off to Liverpool. They kept plugging away. Oh, it's an annoying way to concede. I feel sorry for Pickford. He's done, he's done all he could. Where's Godfrey? Why is Godfrey over there? He's next to Luis Diaz where he should be next to Tariq Mitchell on his right. Being in that little gap. Uh, it's 1-1. One, one. It's 1-1. One, one. Hey, that, that's not worked out. I did say we needed to get the second goal because this, this group of players, they can't be trusted with a 1-0 lead. Definitely not. Where's um, goals, um, goals conceded record in the league as well? And imagine an all comps that tightly adds up to. Did get fresh in the Carabao Cup. Semis. Had a lot of close calls in the FA Cup where we've had to win. Oh no, please, no, no. Oh my God. I saw it. I saw it, but I couldn't change into anyone that could stop it. Diogo Jota has bagged Liverpool a second. Minutes after them getting the equaliser. Oh, no. Maybe it just wasn't meant to be. Look at that. Keen. Why, why was you so hesitant to close him down? Godfrey, where's the aggressive energy that we've seen all season? Oh, things were... This is what happens, man. Things start off really well. Then a door gets slammed in our face. Oh, God. Come on. I've been doing one more run in behind, man. This guy's been really static. We might have to make that change. Been really static since getting that goal. All in behind. Cut back. The Corey. Calvert Lewin. Please take the shot first time, Calvert Lewin. Oh my God. Not even switching to guys in time. Why? Right, why am I playing so slow? Not now. This is not the time to lack pace. No one Liverpool are running at you. These are the times where you don't lack pace. Come on, we need to make all our changes now. We need to get some energy on the field. Get some players that are gonna bust a gut to win the win this ball back because uh, we only got a few moments. To salvage something. Well, let's go um, ultra attacking. Everybody's hiding. This is this is what I mean. This is these are the, these. This is the true colours of these players. So I mean, well, this is what I meant by saying we need to see if their mentality is right. The mentality is completely not right at this club. Come on, Decore, keep going. There's players like Decore though that keep the hope alive. 2-2, finally. Finally, we grabbed the second goal. Okay, it's 2-2. It looks like we might be going extra time. Damari Gray with the equaliser. That's what I mean. The Corey's certain individuals that bust a gut for this for this badge. The Corey, that through ball to, to the Corey was a lost cause ball. That first touch from Van Dyke, it gave me, it gave him the inspiration to go on and keep pressing him. He cuts the back into to Damari Gray, puts it top bins. Okay, late drama. Late drama. Let's go. Uh, this is what it means. This is what it means, man. Oh, uh, God. Accidentally took a screenshot. I don't know why. But yeah, it's 2-2. Two, two. It's 2-2. Two, two. So we're going extra, extra time, just like the semis. They just keep going until like, until they can't go anymore. So we're going into extra time now. It's 2-2. The Merseyside derby has not failed to give you guys an entertaining final. Uh, My hands are sweating. Like, I don't know. I don't know what to do now. I really don't.
Um, I just know that my players can't defend. So, attacking is probably the best bet for us. Go and attacking. Main majority of our substitutions. I don't think we get an extra one. Maybe. I think we do, actually. Mario Great. Just waiting for a run from a... Where's a Ken? My main worry is the defense. That's literally it. Being hit on the break and blocking shots. Oh, Demario Gray, this guy's a star. Come on, Demario Gray. We have Gordon on the opposite flank. Gordon, Demario Gray. Oh my God, it's bundled in. It's an own goal from Gomez. It's 3-2. What was that pass on Gray? Like, I do need to question that pass because that could have gone really, really badly. But it's bundled in um, by Gomez. He was under pressure from Gordon. It's 3 2 in extra time. Damari Gray, he's been in stellar form towards the end of the season. If there's one player we can rely on on that right flank, it's definitely Gray. The partnership between him and Aaron's has been immense for the second half of the season. Ugh. Okay, it's 3-2 now. It's 3-2. You need to be a bit more tactically um, sound. Long shot. Can't invite all of... We can't invite those. We can't invite those. <laughs> They've got a lot of um, players that can shoot from outside the box and test the keeper. So, yeah, we need to be closing down shots as... Uh, soon as possible don't even give them the chance to think about a shot i think we need to start pressing as well i haven't uh, done team pressing the whole game just been so nervous <laughs> i've just neglected other tactics there's a uh, decore i have gordon on on my left gordon in the penalty area keeps the ball in gallagher i oh, try to get it to michelenko Jota. Saw that run from uh, Cavalio. Spotted it. Cavalio. Trent. Henderson. Pickfield with the save. Uh, we go into the second half of extra time. We're 3-2 up from that own goal from Joe Gomez. Um... Yeah, I mean, I don't care how we win it. As long as we win it, that's all that matters for me. And uh, yeah, so far, we're looking a bit solid at the back in uh, in extra time, I must add. Oh, God. I really don't. I really don't know how this is going to end. No one's even left the score prediction. <laughs> I wonder what you guys must be thinking right now. Second half is underway. Last, the last 15 minutes. Let's see if we can get the cider. Can we bag an extra goal to put the nail in the coffin or can Liverpool equalise in time for penalties? Hopefully um, it's the first one, not the latter. Virgil van Dijk. Jota has two options. He's going to play it to the third option. And again, Henderson, he's, the, he's probably been the biggest threat on the field since he's come on. Since he's replaced, replaced Oxlade-Chamberlain, he's bagged himself a goal. He's had several shots. At Pitford, and including that one, it, they all look like they could go in. Oh, deflected head up from Firmino. Pitford is alert. We are going to try to see this game out. In fact, we are going to see if we can make one more change, which uh, we can do. We bring on Wills, Peter Wills from the Youth Academy. What a moment this is for him. That change up. Uh, Distracted me. Got the ball back as on nine up. On nice little link up on that right hand side. Damaro great. Puts the ball in. It's deflected. Mikolenko on that far post head heads it at the keeper and Allison makes the save. It looked like it was going into the opposite corner. Unlucky, unlucky. So Damaro great has contributed quite a lot to this game. I would say he's the man of the match if I'm honest with you. For me, for, for, for Everton, I would say the whole game. But Peter Wills just signed from the 
from the Youth Academy. He got his professional contract this season. He's now starring in the FA Cup final. His first touch gives the ball away. Gives the ball away to Jordan Henderson. And now Liverpool can set off on the counter. Michael Keane has other ideas. Plays it back to the keeper. Oh no. Nice touch there by Luis Diaz. On Holgate. Stay on him. No crosses in. Get back in your position though. Firmino. Strikes the ball down the middle. Straight at the keeper. Peter Wills. Being pressured by Joe Gomez. Definitely wants to impress after conceding that on goal. Two minutes remaining. Just got a few moments remaining. And then we can be... Crown champions. Potentially have a... Well, not potentially. We will have a spot in Europa League. That's the main... Um, that's one of the bonuses. Not the main thing. The main thing is the trophy. But the bonus is Europa League football. And there we have it. We are victorious. We are victorious in the FA Cup. I did not think we would get more than one goal more than one goal we've managed to bag three of them in such dramatic fashion i can't believe against the run of play we managed to pit liverpool to the fa cup trophy it's almost been 20 years since everton have been able to claim this trophy and we've done it we've done it in in one season our defensive record so bad but we managed to come out with silverware and a, Euro a Europa League spot. <laughs> Champions, Champions. Ole, ole, ole. <laughs> oh, let's bask in the glory. So, Michael Keane stepping up to lift Everton's first trophy since 1995 94 season. There we have it. The FA Cup holders, we are going to be playing in the Community Shield as well during our preseason. So that's another trophy that we could potentially win. But let's enjoy this one. <laughs> I'm surprised we managed to get this one. Look at that. Did not picture this. Definitely not I definitely did not picture this after stream number three when I rage quit. It's incredible. What do you guys think? <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Was that entertaining or not? Like, 3-2 <laughs> against Liverpool in the Merseyside derby. And then we have a little glitch. <laughs> uh, it's not a trophy celebration without a photo. We need the, the team photo, Mikalenko. This will probably be his last memory in the Everton top. Possibly Calvert Lewin if we if we don't manage to keep hold of him. But there we go. We've done it. We've done it. We got the trophy over the line. We've also bagged ourselves a spot in the Europa League draw next season for the group stages. So yeah, we, we couldn't have had any like any better end to the season like this is perfect perfect for us Hi, can you chat to us for a second about the match perfect oh guys i don't think you, <laughs> you don't understand <laughs> how ecstatic i am when jota scored that goal i thought it was curtains i thought it was over i thought it was all over We're even talking about him now. <laughs> Thanks, that'll be all for today. Okay. Let's just take that in. Give me a few moments to take that in, please. <laughs> I did not expect that kind of that kind of experience <laughs> in the final. But we've done it. We've done it. So yeah, the last two games we have for the season, I mean the scores don't matter anymore because we've got a European spot. Um, so yeah, Leicester City away from home at the King Power Stadium and Bournemouth. Those are the last two games I'm going to play um, on camera in this live stream. 
Let's, let's just check the chats. I was disappointed you... Well, what, what do you mean, bro? You've not been involved the whole season. Like, this shouldn't be a shock. I was disappointed uh, you... Disappointed you not picking me. I was disappointed you not pick... Uh, my bugging was that a grammar mistake. I, I'm, I was disappointed you not picking me last game. I don't know. Maybe that does, it does make sense. I don't know. I really need minutes to get back to my best. Bro, you're at, you're at the end of your career. Like, you should be thinking about retirement. But you're not even getting a new a new deal. I know, I know it sucks to to see a club captain not be kept on, not go out the way he wants to go out. But this is the problem at Everton. We need to rebuild the squad. We need to change the mentality. Uh, having tagalongs is not going to help. So, yeah, definitely need to move on from uh from the old ways. Okay, so this is how the table looks going into the final um the final few games. So this is uh match day 37 for us. Uh we have 55 points on the table. West Ham have played their game, so if we do end up winning our game, we go above them uh, with 58 points. So yeah, we just need to take it game by game. And um yeah, let's try to push uh Leicester City to their limit. Where are Leicester on the table? Sorry, um, they're eleventh with fifty-two points, so they're three points behind us. So they have an extra incentive to to beat us as well. Brother, playing the yellow kit. Thank you. And uh, no, this is the the B team. But uh, we're going to end the season by rotating a bit more. So Rodriguez, you'll get a spot on the bench. Um, keep Pickford in goal. We're not going to play around with the goalkeeping situation. Where's a Kent? Start him up top. Peter Wills. Start him on the right. We're going to have Gordon... Um, Sit on the bench. We're going to have Gray on the left. Holgate. In for Keane. Godfrey next to Holgate. We literally shunned out these big centre-backs. <laughs> Tolkowski and um, Yeremina barely featured this season. I really don't like the feel of them in-game. They don't feel good um, at all. They feel way too stiff. Well, you should expect that from players that are that size. But no mobility at the back isn't my style of play. So yeah, we're going into this game uh, with Pickford in goal. Uh, Aaron's is on the right. Holgate is uh, he's in the centre with uh, Godfrey on the left. We also have Mitchell, so that's the back line. In the middle, we have Onana, Decore, and Rodriguez. The front line consists of Wills, who's on the right. We have Keane or Ken, sorry, um, down the middle, and on the left we have Damari Gray. Yeah. So yeah, let's get to the live chats now. Um. How much is a uh, Calvert Lewin worth? I think he's a, he's worth around. Well, I'm gonna slap a price tag of sixty million on him. And that's that me personally. Sixty million is a minimum. That's Lucas Thomas. Uh, that's a response to him. Uh, we can speak about. Yeah, Guna. Yeah, Arsenal are playing really well this season. They're playing really well. I was expecting Tottenham to actually um be their first test, like for Arsenal's first test, and I thought they were gonna fumble. But I'm quite scared with the progression that Arteta's um, made with Arsenal. I don't. I really don't want Arsenal fans to to see glory because they're loud when they're not doing well. So imagine when they're actually doing well. We're not going to hear the end of it. They're they're going to be the opposite of humble. Like we barely see City fans talking because there's barely any City fans in the, on this planet. But they they have the right to be loud and they're not as loud as Arsenal will be. If they end up finishing second, this, even if they finish second, they're going to be really loud about it. Um, would you sign this guy, Emmanuel uh, Kudio Kone? I think I've seen him on the save um, that I'm doing with Man United off camera. And uh, he plays for Newcastle in that save. I think they signed him and he looks quite good. So I can scout him because we are going to lose Gallagher in the summer. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Those are the only chats. So yeah, let's get into this, to this, um, this game. It's game 37. 
switch back to the other camera setting webcam setting okay so the hard part is out the way we've hit the 45 minute mark on the stream so if you witnessed greatness just now please remember to smash that like button uh, sub to the channel if you're new and you're enjoying the content also share with your mates if you know anyone that enjoys fifa content pez content and football manager content this channel is pumping that out at the moment and uh, also hit the notification bell so you're notified when i'm uh, uploading a video going live or pre premiering one and um anything else also follow me at Ramel HD on Instagram so you get further updates outside of the channel but yeah without further ado let's get into this game finish the season off strong so we're attacking to the left Leicester City are attacking to the right and they get the game kicked off Johnny Evans Samari Currently on 55 points, a win will take us up to 58 points. Where we will end up overtaking West Ham on the table. We've made an early mistake. Well done, Godfrey. Great recovery there. I think um, everyone in my back line has been subjected to a lot of criticism and abuse from, from me. Um, Godfrey's definitely come leaps and bounds. Definitely a lot of room for improvement. Still top bins. Drewsbury Hall. Smashes it top bins. Left foot from outside the box. Let's just see I've taken the lead. This is what I was worried about. If we didn't win the FA Cup, I was worried that we was going to butcher and bottle the final two games. I think my players are already hung over from that victory in the FA Cup. I just hope that it doesn't trickle into, into the second season. I, mean, I, I am anticipating a dip. After winning the FA Cup. Especially when you have weak minded players. Oh, Tariq Mitchell. The core eight. Oh, Iverson with the save. So 60% so far saying uh, Calvert Lewin. Definitely uh, definitely um player of the season. Pickford second. Dele Ali's not even getting a look in. Michael Keane's not getting a look getting a look in. Uh, Norky football. Um, I think Nico Williams has agreed uh, agreed terms with Atletic. No, not Atletic Bill, but I think he's agreed terms with another team. I can't remember who. Ah, uh, poor corner. Sh should have been concentrating. Um, yeah, I was looking at Nico Williams. He's in my shortlist, but I think he's definitely been poached by another club. But we can check in the menu. Harvey Barnes. Anderson. Body. Addison. Oh, no. No, please, no. Please, no. Not two. Not goal number two. Drewsby Hall blocks his um, own teammate's shot as a free kick. Oh, he's offside. I think it's a free kick. He's probably handled it. I've got handballs on. One, uh, turned it off for penalties because someone said in the comment section. I think on episode, uh, episode six, take handballs off penalties too i thought i'd just keep handballs on for drama but they were literally calling handball for damn near everything it could hit your shoulder and there's a handball it's not um the letter of the law there's a Sam samari body tillemans barnes this have been in real control at the moment oh another save by pickford i'm glad that you guys at least considered pickford though Calvert Lewin could win it. I could care less who wins it. As long as Pitford is uh, well within a shout, because we we don't we don't win that trophy without Pitford. It could have easily been five goals to Liverpool at some point. Pitford definitely kept us in in the game. He had way more to do compared to Allison. Allison barely dealt with uh, what was thrown at him because we barely even threw much at him and still managed to win three two. Godfrey, Mitchell, Man up. switch this play to the wheels. Done. Uh, Max Aaron's ball goes in. Played away by Vestergaard. 
And ball? Probably by me. It's a free kick to Leicester City, I'm assuming. Oh, Decore. Gonna get the ball into K uh, Moza Kent. Body. Jewsby Hall to Madison. Passes intercepted by Onana. Rodriguez. I mean, I've said this time, time again. Rotating this squad is very detrimental to the style of play on the field. Start bringing in fringe players, you see a complete dip in the quality on and off the ball. Like Rodriguez just yeah. I'm not confident with running at defenders of him. Ooh! All played in behind by Wills. Moise Ken. Oh, took an extra touch, but that doesn't matter. He he buries it. Shoots across Iverson and makes it 1 1. Moise Ken playing really well since coming back from his uh his loan at Piemonte Calcio. Saka will be a no, we're not signing Saka, young boy. Sorry to just um just to shut down your idea, but like it's just not realistic. We literally are eighth place as it stands. Saka would not, and I think Saka's uh, left Arsenal. I think Saka's gone to Leicester City. So, uh, he's gone. He's gone. I think it's Leipzig or Leicester City. I can't remember. He went somewhere with where it begins with an L. I know that for sure. Um, um I'll definitely check out Nico Williams once we get back into the menu. It's one one now. Concentrate on the task at hand. Oh no. What a save by Pickford. The ease have been 2 1. Body left his shooting boots at home. It's not like him to miss from that range. He is sacrificing his game. Been uh, linking up play, dropping deep for Leicester. And a crunching challenge on Aaron's and wins the ball. But it's a goal kick. Yeah, Mary definitely needs some uh, working on. I definitely need to work on a Mary. I need him to be successful. Wasted money on that guy. We're not, it's not like we have a bottomless bank account. He doesn't work out. We're no different to the old regime. Signing people. Just don't add anything to the squad. If not, we may have to move him on. Corey. Mara Gray. Mitchell. It's a ball in. Cleared away by Samara. It's a shocking clearance, actually. Thomas has to follow up. Two minutes remaining. The first half. Might get some added time. Sure. Tielemans plays it to his left into Luke Thomas. Harvey Barnes. Harvey Barnes is more of a realistic signing than Saka. Even then, I don't think Barnes would, would leave Leicester to go to Everton. Oh, no. No, Madison. Oh, nice save again by Pickford. Standing tall. Reacting quick enough to deny him. It's a corner kick. It's cleared. We are struggling with the aerial jewels. But it's, um, it's half time. It's 1 1 at the break at the King Power Stadium. The goals, uh, the goals were. The goal started with uh, Drewsbury Hall. Bagged a, a goal from outside the box in the fifth minute and Moise Kent equalised in the 32nd. Bit of a back and forth between the two sides. Romel, call them Juventus. Not people now. Not people to catch up. <laughs> Do you know what it is? I love. I, 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 I just enjoy saying Pio Monte Calcio. It sounds way more interesting to say than Juventus. I won't lie. That name is lit. Pio Monte Calcio. <laughs> yeah, I love that name. But I'll, I'll, I'll call them Juventus, man. <laughs> Pio Monte Calcio. Yeah, Hadar is already on my list. Uh, um, Nor uh, Norik, sorry. I was going to call you Norky. Norik. Um, yeah, Hadar is definitely on my list. 
But we also um what we also need to remember we got James Garner coming back from his loan from on him for us. His overall last time I checked was like seventy six or seventy seven. Oh, we don't want to over overly saturate CDM role because we have uh we're trying to turn Tom Davis into a CDM. We have on Nana and uh, James Garner and they're not they're all not far apart in like age range. So I don't want um too many CDMs. I'm trying to get rid of Alan and uh. It's just a game. Trying to be a bit more on the on the youthful side with my squad. All these Asian players coming for like paycheck or Premier League side. We need to get rid of them. The young, hungry, talented players. Hence why we've given P uh, Peter Will so much game time. We do have injuries, but. <laughs> He's definitely earned the right to play with the first team as frequent as he has so far. Vestergaard takes the ball down for Moise Ken. Left foot, 2-1. Nothing in the second half has, um, has really indicated that we were on course to get a second goal. But we turned stuff into something. We turned nothing into something. That's the, that's the phrase. Get it right, Romel. <laughs> but yeah, Vestergaard takes the ball down. For me, after a pool, a poor ball played over the top, and Moise can and just roll it into the opposite corner for for two one. When I um I will start a Man United save when um all the updates are done. So like the latest the stadiums for I would say um the the, up, the promoted teams like Nottingham Forest when they're updated into the game and all the game faces are updated as well. That includes like the the patch for Nottingham Forest, like any any all like all the main updates that get done. Once they're all done, that's when I'm comfortable enough to start a Man United save. Cause um, Man United's my baby. Like, <laughs> I want that save to go smooth and be like, yeah. Everton. I mean, I am slowly getting immersed into the game. At first, I found this game very terrible, but I found sliders that make the gameplay feel a bit more of a feel like more of a football simulation. And um, yeah, I'm slowly like getting attached to some of these players, getting attached to the squad, and uh, yeah, just just playing with them. I'm enjoying it, but it's it's definitely not going to compare to a save with Man United. So that's definitely going to come. But for now, we do have a save with with Man United on Pez, so that that there could stimulate me. For now, I do have an urge to to, to use United on FIFA. I've already got an offline career mode with them. But it's not going to be the same as like recording live streaming because I'm definitely going to put bare time and effort into that. There's Madison. What a ball to the left. Luke Thomas. Well done, Max Ahrens. Oh, uses the ball straight away. Typical, typical Everton defending. Tielemans takes a shot and Pitford again. This guy, he's literally a sponge. He soaks up all the pressure for us. There we go. I knew it. I knew he went to a team with an L. Saka plays for Leicester. Guys, there you have it. Those are there you go. Those that's for the people that wanted me to sign Saka. He plays for Leicester, so I can't negotiate with him until next season. But I'm not gonna sign him anyway. As best of God, Saka. First, a uh, few touches of the ball. Loses it. Didn't know what he was doing, but Max Aaron's uh wasn't gonna wait around for him to figure it out. All over the top. Wills on the right hand side. Swing this ball in. Shocking cross. Shocking cross. I don't know what Iverson was doing. I mean, not Iverson. Peter Wills was doing. It's an easy catch for Iverson. Uh, we do need to make some changes, though. Come on, Tielemans. My box. Doing well to hold him off so far. Saka. Thought he was offside. I, f I was expecting the flag. On that on that note, make a change. Bring on Calvert Lewin. Mary. And uh, I'll say Tarkovsky. Still an Everton player, so uh, may as well use him. Wills. This right hand side. 
Ken to Rodriguez. Onana. Mario Gray against his former club. Right foot shot. Oh, really close, really close. Not too far from Damari Gray. Samare is going to make his way off the field. Ricardo Pereira's on for Leicester. Ken, Olgate, and Rodriguez is off. Calvert Lewin, Tarkovsky, and Emery, they're making their way on the field for us. We made three changes. I reckon we've got two more to make. 2 1 up at the moment. Don't look like we're going to concede. Don't really look like we're going to get a third, though. You need to change that. As you, as you saw in the cup final, having a one goal lead is just not enough for my team. I don't think two goals is enough. There's a Wills. All played in the box. Demario Gray with the header. Decent save by the keeper. Yeah, Mukoko could be, possibly be a replacement for um, Calvert Lewin if he does leave. I, I do welcome Stars leaving. It's just realistic that way. Stars can leave. I'll just use that money to rebuild. Basically like Leicester. We need to... I would say run our club like Leicester. But take some... Uh, what a save by Pitford, man. What a save. James Madison denied from close range. But yeah, as I was saying, we need to, to take some tips... To, Take a few notes from uh, Everton, not Everton, Leicester City's recruitment style. Sell your big player and uh, sign a, a decent player that has potential. Bit filled with that really crucial save, keeping us 2 1 up. 83 minutes gone. We've got seven minutes remaining in this game. Stands were eighth place. Eight points behind uh, Chelsea. Or seventh. Our foot on their necks. Watch that plate. Will's lovely touch. Lovely touch. We're going to retreat. It's less to see us starting to press now. We're getting to that stage of the game where they're going to try to throw everything that they have left at it. Well done, Mikhelenko. Who goes in? Nobody there. Nobody there. I was hoping um, the cross would be more directed to Calvert Lewin. He's in hot form, broken the, the Premier League record. Saka. Bakayo Saka. Tielemans. Sure, there's going to be a cutback at some point. Looking that. That path shot from outside the box from Madison. Four minutes added on. Two minutes of it has been played. So, pretty much two minutes. And we have another set of three points in the bag. Overload ball side. Why am I running off the pitch? <laughs> Just trying to focus on this guy's run. Well done, Godfrey. Getting this ball out. There we have it. 2-1 victory in the King Power Stadium. Leicester City looked really lethargic in the second half. Um, Madison, he was a he was a huge threat. He was a huge threat. That, that big chance um, from Madison missed was crucial for us. Jordan Pickford stepped up and made that save. But yeah, two one, two one is the is the scoreline for us. Okay, let me read the live chats. Uh, what team do I support? Manchester United. Man United is the team I support. I'll openly support them, even though um they don't give me reasons to. <laughs> they don't give me reasons to openly support them at the minute. What is football? Can't win all the time. You spent years winning. It's just our turn to lose. <laughs> the only way you can really look at it. Otherwise, you're going to drive yourself crazy. So, Moise Ken, uh, we're going to speak about him. He got a brace in that last game. Kept off a good team display. Just one goal between the teams in the end. And you come away with the win thanks to second half strike. 
So we weren't comfortable. We weren't comfortable at all. But we gave ourselves something to hang on to. Me too. And your favourite player. Um, my favourite player at the moment. Before that 6-3 freshen. Um, I would say it was Martinez and... It was out of Martinez and Ericsson. Uh, after that 6-3 fa- uh, freshen. I'm kind of relying on, on our next game. Our next performance to determine how I feel about the squad. Um... Yeah, we, we've obviously had big defeats this season against Brentford and bounced back. But against Thanks, against uh, Manchester City, it's always going to hit different. So, yeah, we just got to wait and see. Wait and see what um what effect that's had on the mentality of the squad. I want to see if they can bounce back. Just like the way Arsenal bounced back when they lost 3-1 against us and they went on to beat Brentford and they had that, that dominant performance against Tottenham. Just, yeah. When when the defeat first happened, I was like I said, I was in a toxic mood, which was which is why I don't run a Man United fan channel because I was really toxic. Obviously not about Ten Hag, but the players. Like I still think Ten, uh, McTominay needs to go. That's one of the sentiments that I felt after that game. McTominay needs to go. I don't care who you have coaching him, you can't coach that guy to to hold on to possession. It's just it's just never going to happen. Like he's never going to be in a side. That involves ball retention. Because that's how Ten Hag likes to play. He likes to keep the ball. He doesn't like playing direct football, like hoofing the ball up the field and just um, being wasteful on the ball. Whatever side, whatever manager you have, you won't be able to coach McTominay how to play proper football. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know I'm not a footballer myself, so like to footballers, I'm probably not qualified to say someone's not good enough, but he's just not good enough to play for Manchester United for Man United. Hats off to him for making it through the academy and going the long run, like going the long distance and making it into the first team and lasting this long in the first team, but he's just not good enough. If you want to win trophies, let alone break it to the top four and challenge for the title, you can't have McTominay starting week in, week out. And then having I know Casemiro hasn't looked good in the United shirt so far, but you've got Casemiro coming from La Liga like give him time, play him. This is the issue we had with Fred as well. I know Fred is still not good enough, but Mourinho did this with Fred. Like we we didn't find out Fred was like which was just not good enough until a season later under Oli, because Mourinho refused to use Fred. So we couldn't really evaluate him or assess him as fans. So yeah, I just don't believe Ronaldo and Casemiro should have stayed on the bench as long as they did. Um because the, the players on the field just did not have any fight in them after the second goal. That's my that's my honest opinion. I watched up until the fourth goal and yeah, I just couldn't watch any. But yeah, um sorry, we're talking about um Man United when we're playing a, a Everton career mode. But it's the live chat. It is a live chat. I do want to respond to you guys. Um let's take a look at the league standings before we get into this game. So yeah, as I said at the end of the um during the last game, uh, we have fifty eight points on the table, Chelsea has sixty. We are two points behind them. Uh, Chelsea do have Arsenal as their final game of the season, whereas we only have Bo- uh, Bournemouth. We can easily drop points to Bournemouth. Let's not um, get this twisted. We got smashed 3-0 by Fulham um, and 5-1 earlier on the season by Fulham. So um, we do have um, a few shocking results in us. It's the final game of the season. So I do want to cap the season off on a positive note at home as well. We can't give the home fans a negative taste. Um, a negative feeling going into the next season so we do do need to bag a victory for the last game whether we overtake Chelsea or not winning is a must the only game I care about right now is Chelsea Arsenal I'm going to turn all the other life scores off let's focus on that Chelsea game so um, we also Davis on the bench. There we go. Keep forgetting he's there. I'm gonna let Alan Alan take a spot on the bench as well. Mary gets the nod. And uh yeah, we're gonna field Gallagher. This is gonna this is gonna be um Gallagher's last game in the Everton shirt. I know he's gonna be overpriced this summer, so I'm not really gonna go back in for him. I'm trying to spend money wisely and address every position. As many positions as possible. 
I'm going to give Jovanovic, a young player. He was a free agent. We signed him at the beginning of the season. I think he's 19 or 18. In fact, we're going to start him over Michael Keane. Holgate can start at the back. Jovanovic. Captain he's given to Pickford. Mope. Uh, we can keep Mope. No, no, yeah, we're going to play Mope. Calvert-Lewin can rest. He's already running away with the golden boot. Like, he just doesn't. He doesn't need to play. If he if he moans about not playing the final game of the season, I mean he's selfish. <laughs> That's the only thing I can really say about him. He's selfish if he moans. So Wills is gonna start on the right hand side, and we have got Gray on the left. I think this is a solid team, good enough to bag a victory against Bournemouth. Uh, let me drink up bowl of water. You like Marcus Rashford, Nor um, Norwich? If I'm honest with you, I'm done with Rashford as well. Sorry. Yeah, I'm done with Rashford. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm kind of done with Rashford. His first touch is terrible. I don't like his first touch. He's not good on the ball either. But he, he's got a lot of moments in him. He's a he's a moment player, but... Yeah. I'm done. I'm done with United being mo like a moment team. Like, in, like certain individuals having to do something special in certain moments. To, to get a victory over the line or get us get us a goal, I I miss the days where we score a lot of team goals and we look good on the ball, and even if we lost, we look like we deserve to win. Like there's there's barely any matches that I can say we deserve to win anymore. Even the Arsenal game, like Arsenal were on top of us. But yeah, it's the final game of the season, match day thirty eight. Let's end this um, the season off with a victory. Ready, bagged ourselves a trophy, bagged European football. I like that intro. Okay, so let's go, let's go. So Norik, um, where where do you think we're gonna finish this season? Your opinion, your honest opinion. Where do you think we're gonna finish? And do you believe uh, we'll we'll get anyone, bring anyone in in January? And if you think we we will, positions you think we're gonna address? I know that's a lot of questions, but you answer them in your own time if you if you want to. But yeah, we're attacking to the right, Everton. I mean, we're attacking to the right. Bournemouth are attacking to the left. Game's kicked off. Done really well on stream so far. On 3-2 in the FA Cup final. On 2-1 against Leicester City. Can we do the sweep? Wills plays over the top. Where's the Ken? Right foot shot. Travers makes the save. I'm going to cut it back. Play is still, um, still in play. The ball's still in play. And uh, Demaro Gray's shot is blocked. Maybe should have took the corner. Should be off. Jovanovic with the interception. Definitely need to work on his uh his pace as well. Jovanovic. He feels a lot a lot more stiff than his stats would uh suggest. Or he'll be a bit more agile than this. It's, uh, Cook. It could be a sharpness actually. I haven't been on top of the training for players that aren't in the first team. Billing. Alario. Nice save by Pickford. Still continues to perform. Lario into Zamora. Oh, Billing. 1-0. 1-0 to Bournemouth. We can't stop conceding first for what he is outside of football. Oh, yeah. Okay. If we're talking about personality, yeah, I rate Rashford 100%. Especially with all the criticism he's dealt with, he still continues to be, like, the character that he is outside of football. I rate that. And I, I don't rate the sentiment that people are telling them focus on being a footballer before an activist. Bro, it's his personality. <laughs> like, the values he was raised with as a child would always, like, show. Like, it may, it may have just been instilled into, instilled into him to, like, help others when, when, he, when he can do it. 
and now he's in a position to do so, you can't tell him not to do it. Just because he's playing badly on the football pitch. Like, football may be his, his passion, maybe his first passion, but like being a human will always come first. Like <laughs> He may be playing rubbish on the field, maybe everything he's doing off the field is distracting him, but he's a human being before he's a footballer, so... It's stupid. It's stupid for people to say that he needs to focus on scoring goals instead of feeding the children. Zamora gets the ball cleared. Zolario. Obviously, for banner purposes, I say that. <laughs> I say he needs to focus on uh, scoring goals instead of the kids. But like, when you're when you're not when you're not in a like banner mode or football mode, like think about it. What he's doing the right thing there's a lot of people with the money that they have oh 2-0 two 2-0 nil, two nil to Bournemouth bottle jobs bottle jobs City bottle jobs Central our goal scoring record our, our defensive goal scoring record continues to deplete Lau comes in from the left hand side and just slots it to the opposite corner I must say my concentration has dipped since winning the FA Cup so even the manager of Everton's complacent so yeah I need to show some grit we are at home as well we can't end the season like this toothless performance doesn't give us um, a good template for season 2 I'm going to go into that season buzzing off the back of a victory and then that's what pre-season pre is for but I, I would want to go into preseason knowing that my team has some sort of idea of how I want to play. Ooh, oh, if that went through, man. If that went through, that would have been lovely. To play. Accepted by uh, Aaron's. Or is it Kent? Shielding the ball quite well. Oh, come on. They're on me. Oh, is it Kent? Kind of wish I scored earlier a run with him. This is what I'm saying. You can't underestimate Bournemouth. Not with these players, man. I should be able to answer live chats without um, worrying about the dip and the, and the lapse of concentration at the back. That seems to have happened. Whenever I start talking about something else, <laughs> I can't rely on my players to remain in position, hold the fort at the back. Now we've got to work extra hard, turn this game around. In order to win, we need to bag three goals from this position. That's not the position we need to be in. Oh, come on, man. What do I have to do? Travers is doing really well in goal. Pass off to that keeper. Oh, God. Um, may, Yes, maybe like Hadara. Yeah, I would love a Hadara at United. We need that energy in the midfield. Ninth for eighth. That sounds about right as well. I don't think we'll, I don't think we'll even qualify for ECL. We don't deserve to anyway. Not with the way we played against City in that last game. Well, who knows? We can improve because our run of games, I think um, after we face Chelsea and Tottenham, our run of games should be quite decent again. Damaro Great, Gallagher, Davis, Moisa Kent, Amiri, Damaro Great, Amiri, keep moving this ball around. We find an opening. Found one, but Amiri just can't play the ball. Like, I don't understand this guy's ability. You should be able to make that pass. Especially with your passing accuracy. Get this cleared now. So, yeah, it looks like we're going to go into an interval 2-0 down against Bournemouth. Bournemouth, who are definitely confirmed 
to be relegated. We are trailing 2-0 on the final day against them. Jamal Lam bagging the second goal. I think Billing was the one who bagged the first goal. Uh, let's double check. Yeah, it was Billing in the 13th minute. Yeah, it was Billing in the 13th minute. Okay, second half is underway. We are trailing 2-0. Which this play, Aaron's to Jovanovic has Gallagher from Davis. Still not convinced yet, but take, uh, Tom Davis' ability might have to move him on as well. Turning him into a CDM isn't guaranteed to work, but we are just seeing about right, the feeling out process with that guy. It would be a shame if we have to sell him because he's still quite young. He first burst onto the scene out of high potential. Peter Wills just can't get his passes into Michael Keane. We probably might have to make an early change. I don't want to take the young player off. I want him to play the full 90, but can't continue to be giving the ball away and not creating any chances. Right now, it seems like going on the right-hand side is a handicap because he's not got the ability run at defenders just yet he hasn't got pace if you check his yeah his pace is 62 definitely needs to be loaned out that's for sure yeah we are going to make a change gordon's gonna come onto the field too narrow as well too close together no runs are being made off the ball people are just they're either coming short or they're just standing still in one position. Oh, no. Alario, another opportunity. And again, Pickford helps to uh, keep the scoreline as little as 2-0. Could be 4-5 or five at this point. Poor first touch by Moise Ken, man. What are you playing at? That is really shocking right now. Coming off the back of getting a brace against Leicester. It's definitely not someone that can lead the line. Oh, come on. Well done, Mitchell. Yeah. Wills is just taking too long to run into space. Here's Gallagher. Connor Gallagher. Connor Gallagher. Left foot short. 2-1. We're back in it. We're back in it. We're back in it. I want Hadara. I want Hadara. Anytime. January, summer, I don't care. We just need people in. We just need to stop playing McTomney as our main number six. We should be fine. So it's 2 1 now. Bringing on Gordon. Wills is uh, making his way off the field. Definitely, definitely need to learn that player out. Good for his age. Just definitely needs to get some game time and grow elsewhere. We'll be going in um, for a winger in the summer as well. There's La. Zamora. Lewis Cook. Cook. Just to drill it in. It's blocked by Jovanovic. Brooks with the header. It's gone wide on the post. No more changes uh, to make for now. Come on. Why are they still giving me updates on other games? I only want to know about the Chelsea and Arsenal match. Not that it matters right now because we're losing, but... Uh, can't get the ball to him from this angle. Find a new route. Oh, he's a Kent. His first touch again, letting him down. It's a David Brooks. Stacey, dip back down the line into Brooks, being pers um, pursued by Mitchell to make another change. Since um, that change, we have improved, pressing's improved, movement off the ball has improved, so I think we need to double down some more. Take off Jovanovic, bring on uh, Michael Keane, just to solidify us at the back. 
were um, solid at the back defensively and possibly win the ball, nick it from them, set off on counter-attacks. It's, it's a lot harder to do so when you haven't got um, the right centre-backs. Well done, Michael Keane. Lovely block. So Bournemouth have a free kick. Pinked into the box, headed away by Michael Keane. Mitchell. Gordon. Back into Mitchell. He's running down this left hand side. Nobody's in the box. Keane's not even busting the gut to get into the box. All cut back. Moise Kenner's shot is uh, saved by Travers. It's finishing, man. His finishing needs to improve. That's an angle where I would expect him to put into the back of the net. Can keep knocking. We need to keep knocking. Eventually, we will get the equaliser. Oh, no. Billing. Well done, Pickford. Alario. Lewis. Lau. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Pickford, what have you done? He spilt that shot and he gets back up for the for the double save. Corey. Gordon. Boys again. 2-2. Two, 2-2 two. Two, two. back from 2-0 down. <clears throat> it's now 2-2. Two, two. <clears throat> sorry, sorry. So yeah, we turned this around again. Turned it around back from um back from the dead. Moise Ken has got the equalizer for us. And it's all in behind from the quarry into uh, Gordon. And Gordon does the same, but gives it to Ke uh, Moise Ken. Just drills it low into the corner. Going to make another change. Make another change. Going to bring on um, Alan. He's a natural ball winner. So if we can win the ball in the midfield, continue to, to press them and attack them for the dire moments. We might create one last big opportunity just to turn this whole game around. So it's 2 2. Moise Ken with the equalizer. Billing. I'm not even gonna attempt to say that man's name. I'm not in the I'm not in the in, in the field of butchering family names. <laughs> I'd rather just stay silent. As a uh, Mason Holgate. Keen. Aaron's. Three minutes remaining. Ultra attacking. The urgency is still there. Ooh. We've done it. 3 2. 2 0 down. And Damari Gray again. Heroics. Heroics. Performed by Damari Gray in one live stream. He hit he hit um he hit the target against Liverpool in the FA Cup final and he's gone and won it for us. In the dying moments of the game, the final game of the season, in front of our home fans. This is what I mean. The turnaround, that substitution, moving Damari Gray to the right, bringing on Gordon was really effective. That started the comeback, that set it off. And the other changes that came with it. Definitely contributed. That's his fifth goal in 25 games in the league. Damara Gray, he also had a three-month injury as well. He's bounced back, came, came back from injury, had a solid end to the season. Nice little run in behind as well. The overlap, Moise Ken. Moise Ken contributing. Not just um, scoring goals, but assisting. Come on, get up, bro. We don't need you injured for preseason. I do have Snapchat, but um, that's a personal. Oh, David Brooks is sent off. David Brooks has been sent his marching orders on the final day of the season. Moise Ken needs a helping hand from the core. Ah, scenes, 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 scenes. Uh, yeah, I do have Snapchat, but I don't hand out. It's a, it's a personal Snapchat. Um, I do have a Discord though, which should be in the link. I'm still trying to figure out how to use Discord. But, um, yeah. 
I do have Instagram. Follow me at Ramel HD on Instagram. Uh, Amara Gray thinks it. Cleared away. Back in. Oh, Travis with the save. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm enjoying this gameplay right now. Thank God for sliders. Who <laughs> goes in? Oh, come on. One last crack at it. Travis with the save. Okay. So there we go. There we have it. The season is now over. It has been completed. Season one is the done done. It's the done 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 done. Yeah? And uh, we've done quite well. We've done quite well. For this final game, we had to come back from 2-0 down. Moise Ken didn't really have a good, um, a good game for the first, I would say, 60 minutes of it. But once he started making some changes, he got into the game, started linking up. And uh, he bagged us the equaliser and he helped us bag uh, the winner from uh, from assisting Damaru Gray. So yeah, we bagged another set of three points. So let's get into the menu and uh, just see how the final table looks. The final shape of the Premier League table. Calvert-Lewin is ahead. I think we should just end the poll here because we are going to do the season review anyway. You know what? Let's go. Let's go over a few more things. Okay, so we're in the menu, and uh, we're going to take a look at the league table now. So, Barclays Premier League, the league champions at the end of uh, the season 2022 to 2023 is Manchester City. They won the league by one point. Again, Pippen Liverpool to the title. This must be the, the so stressing, so depressing for Liverpool. They lost their FA Cup final and they've been pipped to the title. Um, was it a final? They drew 2-2. No, no. Let's check. Did it go down to the wire though? That's the question. They won 4-1 against Bournemouth. Not Bournemouth. Brighton, sorry. And uh, City won 2-1 against Southampton. So again, went down to the final game. Uh, third place is uh, Spurs. They got automatic spot in the Champions League. Same with Arsenal. Um, they finished fourth, so the two North London sides, they're going to be in the, the best competition, best European competition. Um, Newcastle, they're in Europa League, as well as Chelsea and Manchester United are in ECL. Uh, Chelsea managed to overtake Man United. I think that was the final day um, result. Oh, no. They've been level on points. Okay. So, yeah, Chelsea, they're in Europa League regardless. Um, we're in Europa League as well because we won the FA Cup. But we finished 8th place with 61 points on the table. Um, anyone below us ain't really that interesting. Not really worth noting. But if you do want to look at the rest of the table, just pause it from here. Um, the teams that are relegated, Southampton, Brentford and Bournemouth. Bournemouth, they finished last with 16 points. Brentford, they finished 19th with 22 points. And Southampton, um, they were nowhere near Fulham. They finished uh, 18th with 26 points. So yeah, things are things are looking quite good in terms of the table. Um, I mean, the same old happened. City won the league, but different teams made the top four, like Spurs and Chelsea, not United. Not Spurs and Chelsea, Spurs and Arsenal, sorry. Chelsea didn't make it, United didn't make it. Um, what do I want to check? I know they switched it around. Weird. Yeah, this is how you get to it. So yeah, top goal scorer now. Uh, Calvert-Lewin ran away with the golden boot, 37 goals and 35 appearances. Second was Mo Salah with 24 and 38. Um, Gabriel Jesus, 24 and 36. Son, 23 and 35. And Diaz, 23 and 38. So yeah, if you want to look at the rest of the top 15, I would say pause the video because we're going to go straight to assists. Harry Kane got 13 assists and 37 appearances. Mo Salah got 12 assists. Uh, Calvert-Lewin got 11 assists. Phil Foden got 11 and uh, Ali got 10, Odegaard got 10 as well. Again, same thing. Pause the, uh, pause the video if you want to take a look at that list. Clean sheets. Hugo Lloris got 11 clean sheets. Ariolo got 10. Alisson got uh, 3. And uh, not 3, he came third. He got 10, sorry. Um, Henderson. Henderson did well. He got 9 clean sheets with, um, and he came fourth. He got 2 more clean sheets than David De Gea and uh, he came fifth. There's a bit of controversy. Um, controversy. For Man United fans, <laughs> Dean Henderson um, above David De Gea in clean sheets. Uh, we don't really care for yellow cards. <laughs> we don't care. For so I think um, 
that's covered now. Um, in terms of the squad hub, we're gonna take a look at the way um, players have performed and like average rating. So Calvert Lewin got average rating of seven point seven seven. Oh no, seven point three four. I'm reading friendly matches. Why have they got friendly at the bottom? They should have just had it above total. But yeah, um, yeah, seven point three four in his average rating, and uh, we got six point nine eight from Deli Ali, seven point two zero from Gordon. Solid season, six point eight four from a uh, Moisa Ken. Mope got six point seven one. He only had twenty two appearances across all comps. Um, six point nine five from Damari Gray. The Corey got six point seven five. Uh, before um, Dwight McNeil got injured, he was on a 7.08. Gallagher, 6.83. And a 6.70 from Tariq Mitchell. So, yeah, we're going to see the most appearances. Jordan Pickford, Godfrey. Yeah, a lot of game time. A lot of game time from a lot of these players. Who got the least? Okay, so these are the fringe players. I'll say... Still at least our people that play first team football. I think, yeah, it's Amiri. Amiri came in January and he didn't really hit the ground running. He ended the season with a 6.34 average rating. So it's a shocking start to the early life as a Toffee player. Um, Tarkovsky, definitely need to move him on. He's 30 years of age. I, I will cash in on him. Uh, Rodriguez, 6.30. I might cash in on him as well. I know I just signed him this season, but we signed him for free. So whatever money we get for him, get for him is automatically going to be profitable. We are going to take a look at contracts. We're not going to renew certain people's contracts. I think Pickford deserves a new deal. Pen him down. He won your extension. Are you joking? We'll do that though. We'll just take it. I think he's a bit skeptical. About um, where the club's at. Same with Deli Ali. Again, one year extension. I think these guys are just uh, trying to trying to protect their future. Look what Harry Kane did. He put himself in a golden cage at Tottenham. He, even, uh, he signed a six year deal, and when he realised Tottenham didn't have the ambition of his ability to match his ability, he was a uh, kind of held to ransom. So I think this is what some of these guys are doing. They're just, they're just trying to make sure that if things go to shit, and even though they're playing well, they have an escape route, which I respect. Um, Calvert-Lewin, I'm not going to pen him down to a new deal, but I'm going to pen down uh, Gordon to a new deal. In fact, I'm going to sit down with him and his agent. We're going to end the poll now. Okay, so uh, Gordon, important. So next season, expect him to feature even more. Four-year deal. We're investing into this young man. Four-year deal. Oh, one year. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, yeah, he's already got two, he's already got two years um, remaining. Sorry, two-year extension. Two-year extension should be should be fine and fair. I don't like the sideways looks that him and his agent are giving themselves. Like, <laughs> you know. Do you know when's, when is when someone's being awkward and like someone's the elephant in the room and everyone's just giving each other like the side eye to confirm like yeah like yeah he <laughs> we're not on we're not on his wave right now what he's on we're not on it that's what it feels like they're giving each other that side eye if he can bag I'll say ten goals three hundred k bonus I think I'm overpaying him. And there we have it. Our young prospect, our main talent from the academy, Anthony Gordon, has penned himself down for an extra two years at Goodison Park. Oh, we shake hands on that. In fact, that could be the intro for season two. I don't know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I'm on a different profile, so um, my, my um, capture settings are completely different to my main account. So I just do random screenshots at stupid times because settings are different but yeah um i've finished the poll so calvert lewin dominic calvert lewin's officially uh the club's player of the season so going into next season um yeah i'm, I'm just expecting a lot of offers for him and uh, like i said time time again if we do get a good offer 
I'd say 60 million is my minimum fee that I'm going to request for him. If you get something 60 million and above, we are going to allow him to negotiate. So, um, yeah, expect to see Calvert Lewin play, play for another club. But um, our demands are met. In terms of our youth academy, um, Lucas Johnston, we're going to give him a um, professional contract. But we can't do anything else because we're on uh, 51 players in the squad and the limit is 52. So there's definitely going to be um, a lot of dead wood being cleared off camera. Uh, yeah, just know that this is going to be a different team, different side. Uh, just expect a lot of reinforcements in the summer as well. Uh, guys, it's been a really good stream. It's been a really good stream. Thank you guys for tuning in, man. I really appreciate the support that's been shown for this channel um, for the last year. I only started this a year ago and we've grown quite a lot. We're um, taking it. We've taken it to um, a place where I didn't really expect to reach. I didn't expect this many people to be involved in my content with me. So um, I'm really grateful for that. Uh, so yeah, we're going to cap off this stream. We're going to conclude it basically. So yeah, if you made it this far and you've enjoyed the content, please smash that like button. If you're new to the channel as well, smash that sub button and also hit the notification bell so you're notified when I'm next going live, um, when I'm premiering a video of, or if I've uploaded one. Also share with your mates if you know anyone that enjoys FIFA content, um, PES content and Football Manager content. This channel is pumping that out currently. And also um, follow me on Instagram at RomelHD. Also have a Discord in the in the description i don't know how to work this cord so just expect it to take some time for it to properly be up and running i'm gonna do some research on it learn ins and outs of the app because um i'm an independent learner like i only learn i learn through doing stuff myself it's like same with this channel i didn't know how to edit didn't know how to create a thumbnail thumbnail for the life of me didn't know how to create a, a logo like i didn't know how to do a lot of things but i learned it on my own same thing with like social media and promoting things myself i'm gonna learn how to do it myself um because i'm a really anxious person i don't own tiktok i don't have like a lot of social media like that i don't use a lot of apps so um yeah it's gonna take me some time to actually feel comfortable enough to promote across like a lot of platforms so far i've only been promoting on instagram and uh, facebook from time to time but i do need to expand and also create another source of a uh, communication with my uh, with my subscribers and i think discord is probably the best place to start so yeah on that long note um yeah um hit that link in the in the description for my discord and uh, i'm sure it should allow you to join i don't know how it works i think once you hit the link um it's like an open invitation I, i'm assuming that's what it is but yeah, um, there's going to be another live stream. There's going to be another live stream. I'm going to live stream preseason. I might do that today or it might be tomorrow, but early. But there's definitely going to be another live stream. Um, again, like I said, follow me on Instagram. You'll get further updates on that. And um, yeah, and plus, if you hit the notification bell, you'll be notified if I live stream. But if I do live stream again today, it'll probably be at 9.30 and it'll be the preseason. So I'll be covering the free games in preseason. I'm most likely the community shield and we'll go over signings and stuff like that but yeah thank you for tuning in again uh take care for now peace <laughs>